Marvel Studios officially pivoting away from Kang, decision reportedly made in response to poor performance of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and not Jonathan Major's legal trouble. It seems the House of Mouse has been playing a game of musical chairs with its characters, and it's time to criticize some of Disney's questionable choices. As if that's a new thing, right? Today, we're diving into the recent twists and turns of the Marvel Cinematic Universe where Kang's rise and Doctor Strange's fall have left us scratching our heads. Let's start with Kang the Conqueror, the time-traveling villain who was supposed to be the next big bad in the MCU. Remember that? All that excitement? Oh boy, I do. Well, hold on to your hats because surprise, surprise, that plan's been scrapped. No, you didn't hear that wrong. Yes, you've been hearing it for a while now, but it's out. The secret's out. Kang's out. According to a recent report by The Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kitt and Aaron Couch, I hope I said that right, Marvel Studios has officially made a U-turn, deciding to minimize or entirely remove Kang from their upcoming projects. Now, you might think that's because of Jonathan Major's legal troubles, as many speculated, but no. It's because of the poor reception and underwhelming box office performance of his debut outing in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, as we discussed in the title. The first of the new Avengers movies, initially titled Avengers Kang Dynasty, is now getting a new title to distance itself from time, the time-traveling antagonist, Kang. But here's the kicker. The decision was made long before Majors found himself in legal trouble. Even back in November 2023, Joanna Robinson, hinted on The Ringer's House of R podcast that Marvel was likely to be moving away from the Kang storyline. It seems the studio was quick to abandon ship when Quantum Mania failed to live up to, well, anyone's spec expectations. I think people even who didn't want to see that movie thought it would do better. <laughs> now, let's focus to another character, though. Let's shift over here to Doctor Strange, okay? So here, rumor, this is a rumor, Marvel Studios developing Midnight Suns film Doctor Strange will be unlikely to make the team roster. Doctor Strange has a rich and diverse storyline in the comic books filled with potential for mind-blowing narratives and visually stunning spectacles. But it feels like Disney is pushing him aside in favor of the flavor of the month, leaving fans wondering what happened to the Sorcerer Supreme. Despite the promise of magic and mysticism, Doctor Strange's importance appears to have taken a backseat to Disney's grand schemes. While they rush to make Kang the next big thing, our good old Doctor Strange, portrayed by the talented Benedict Cumberbatch, has been seemingly neglected. So let's dissect this. Disney rushed to make Kang a significant player in the MCU, only to backtrack due to Quantumania's disappointing performance. Meanwhile, Doctor Strange, a character with immense potential, is left hanging in the mystical winds of neglect. It raises questions about Disney's decision-making process. Did they get caught up in the hype without considering the long-term consequences? Why prioritize a character like Kang over the well-established and fan-favorite Doctor Strange? Like, I'm not even a Doctor Strange fan, and I'm kind of fascinated by him. I've never read his comics. But I, I saw him in the movies, and I am interested in knowing more about him. But thanks to what happened in Doctor Strange, Mom, you remember that, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, nobody in the writer's room asked, like, is that going to backfire on us? Is that going to be a meme? Remember the movie, right? There's a mom, and she's very strange, right? Doctor Strange, Mom. Nobody thought that through. Anyway, this is the level of thinking they're applying to Doctor Strange. They turn him into an interdimensional babysitter. That's the best they can think of to do with Stephen Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme, okay? Fans have been patiently waiting for Doctor Strange to take center stage, but it seems like Disney is playing a risky game of favoritism. It's not just about one's character's success. It's about respecting the source material and the expectations of the audience. You remember Ryan Johnson? We've got to usurp the audience's expectations. No, you reward them. You don't make a movie predictable, you don't make a book predictable, you don't make a video game predictable. But when you show someone a glowing door, it ought to matter. That's what we talk about rewarding the audience's expectation. When you set something up and then it happens, people go, oh, that's neat, I saw that coming. When you make it deliberate, like it hits him in the face like a train, you know, like Spider-Man with the subway car, it's a bit heavy, right? It's a bit heavy. We call that being ham-fisted, if you will. In conclusion, 
It's time to hold Disney accountable for their choices, like the market is. Remember how they had to come out and admit that we're not in line with the market anymore? It's shifted away from Disney's values. Yeah. The rush to make Kang important, only to neglect Doctor Strange, is a disservice to fans and the characters themselves. We deserve a well thought out narrative, not some roller coaster of impulsive decisions. But maybe you can figure out what the heck they're doing over there in Marvel and Disney and all this other stuff they put together haphazardly. Why don't you let us know down in the comments how you feel about this? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because we're going to continue to follow this train wreck. And don't forget, Dr. Doom is on the horizon, so expect that to show up here pretty soon, too. We'll see you in the next one.